What, I ask, would you do if you were someday a long way from home and you ran out of electricity on a cold, barren planet? The answer may lie in a nuclear device NASA is testing right now on the desert of Nevada. National Geographic astronomy columnist Andrew Fazekas is in Montreal today. Andrew, uh, tell us more about what this device is and more information about why it may be needed someday. So what we're talking about here is a washing machine sized uh, nuclear power plant. Uh, this small device, uh, many of the multiples could be fitted on top of a rocket that could journey to any different place in the solar system. Primarily, we're talking about Mars now and the moon of being able to set up a base, a colony. Uh, of sorts, with uh, maybe team members of up to a dozen people living and working on these distant uh, worlds. And for that, we will need very efficient um, and reliable power source. And so these nuclear, little miniature nuclear power plants that's now being tested in the Nevada desert, and over the next few months, it'll be actually put up to 100% capability, is going to be able, if we, if we set up three or four of these devices on uh, the surface of a world, a distant world, they'll be able to produce enough power to, to create uh, uh, you know, an, an enough lighting, uh, provide a, a very safe, efficient, and plentiful energy for things that they need to do to, for instance, uh, create water source, create oxygen, um, and, and, and experiments, mm. and producing fuel for the long journey back to, to the Earth. So these devices are going to be critical, these little power, uh, portable nuclear devices, to, to run everything that we need to do in terms of a colony on a distant world. Hmm. Well, Andrew, it, it occurs to me that these things that may be so useful on Mars someday uh, could be useful here on Earth someday, too. Well, definitely. I mean, any place where you would need efficient power, this, uh, you know, if we go and look maybe, you know, decades into the future, if we can ensure the safety of some a, a device like this, a washing, we could actually power for a decade a single household on this washing machine sized device. Hmm. So it gives you a possibility of releasing so much energy and, uh, and the efficiency there is amazing. I have only a minute to show viewers a, a pretty neat look at some computer animation. It's of a distant star that was uh, moving in an eye-catching cycle that indicates that it could be circling a black hole. Tell us quickly about this. That's right. So we're talking about basically a sleeping predator here, a black hole that is completely invisible to us. And the only reason we, we, we caught sight of it is the motion of this star that's orbiting this black hole. It's moving at speeds of up to 500,000 kilometers per hour, wow. backwards and forwards. And this Ooh. funny motion, the only way to explain it is that there is an unseen black hole that it's orbiting. And this is the first ever that we've been able to detect a black hole uh, using this indirect method. And this will unlock our abilities to understand these very strange uh, phenomena of black holes, which are scattered throughout the universe and including in our Milky Way galaxy. So this mm. is going to be something of a big find in expanding our search for other of these cosmic monsters. The only thing that travels faster than this distant star is the time that you and I get to spend each Sunday with us. National Geographic astronomy columnist Andrew Fizek, it's always a pleasure to see you, Andrew. Of course. Clear skies.